What's up, Bulls Nation? All season, we've been waiting on the Chicago Bulls to be a better team. They're working towards 500. Will they ever get there? We don't know. But the issue here is they tend to mess up on the defensive end, whether it's Vooch playing drop coverage and not knowing what to do or leaving people open in the corner or just not even paying attention to your man and getting back cut. We are one of the worst defensive teams in the league. And the only reason we're not the worst is because of Alex Caruso. He covers a lot of players. He does a lot of things to help us out. And the real question is, will the Bulls ever find a defensive identity that does not involve only having Alex Caruso do everything? We're going to talk about that in today's episode. We're also going to talk about the game last night where the Chicago Bulls beat the Indiana City Pacers 125-99. But before we do that, you got to hear the intro. We'll see you in a second. Give me that sauce! Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, guys, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And let's get into it. The last few games, what we've seen from the Chicago Bulls is they have an issue with defense. They tend to go down 15, 20, 25 points and have to fight their way back the entire game using all of their energy just to make it close. And then in the fourth, we have to rely on DeMar after he's played a majority of the game to try to step up and be a closer. It's very rare for the Bulls to actually win by a lot. I mean, they did last night. They beat the Pacers 125-99 to in a game where they looked amazing. And there's a key to that that we're going to get to in a second. But the thing about this game is they held the Pacers to the least amount of points they've scored. The last time the Pacers scored under 100 points was last March, and the Bulls are the first team to do that. One of the reasons, because they were more active, they were covering multiple positions, they were getting out to their man, and they were playing solid defense. And that's been the struggle. Play solid defense each and every game. Every game look like you care. But the issue here is the only person who does that is Alex Caruso. And the reason we saw it change last night is for one reason. A man we've all waited for, a man we've wanted back on this team all year. We were so sad. I was distraught when he was taken away from this team. We didn't re-sign him. Javante Green, Savage Wu, was signed to a 10-day contract a couple games ago. We saw for two games he didn't play, and we lost those games because we didn't have enough energy. Billy Donovan had to play him this game because Torrey Craig got into foul trouble, and Wu immediately came into the game and made an impact. Okay, immediately. He's one of those players where he's going to show he's on the floor each and every game. You can see it. He plays defense. He was helping out. When him and Caruso were on the floor, they were guarding multiple positions, switching, knowing when to switch, when not to switch, knowing when to get to the corner, blocking people, playing help defense, and showing effort. And that's what you need from your team. Show effort. Look like you care. Javante always is active. Not only was he great on the defensive end, Right? We also saw him moving without the ball. Right, He was slashing to the rim. He was getting open shots in the corner and knocking it down. He was doing things that we don't see our average normal Bulls players, Javante Green, do on a consistent basis. And this is why I think the Bulls are having a little good shining light for the moment. Personally, I really hope we do sign Javante Green next year. I hope we keep him on this team because it's very hard to find players like him, like Alex Caruso, who plays so hard defensively, so hard on the offensive end, move without the ball, they talk, and they also are reliable to hit the corner three. And now if you can hopefully maybe get him to hit a three, even a smidge of what Alex Caruso does, this team is a lot more dangerous. You also get him to bring that impact of dunking the ball, highlight plays, because that's something that energizes your team. And you can see with this, when Javante was playing great, when he was showing that energy, when he got that amazing block, the team jumped up. They were ready to go. They were energized and ready to play. And that's something we've been missing without Patrick Williams and without Zach Levine. We even saw Kobe at the end of the game go up for a nice dunk because he had the energy. And that's something to be said about having a team of players who show effort, who get you ready to play, who get you fired up. To be a Bulls fan. So seeing Javante Green play this way really shows you that the Bulls aren't terrible. 
They just they're missing valuable pieces. For all those people who sit here and say Alex Caruso is not necessary on this team, we need to trade him immediately. I need you to look at how bad the Bulls play when he's not on the floor. I need you to look at how good they play when Javante just steps in and how much of an impact one player can add to a team. No, one player will not win you a championship, but they damn well can win you a game and they damn well can help you win a series. You have to work on finding the right pieces to build around Kobe White, Ayo DeSumo, Patrick Williams, Julian Phillips, Dalen Terry, Batim, Sonogo, if he ever actually gets to the NBA. You know how Billy is with rookies. This is a thing where you have a young roster, but you need great vets who can help. And from what we're seeing, Ayo DeSumo, Batim, Kobe White, they're starting to look like players who can put the ball in the rim. Patrick Williams was starting to look like he could score too. If you get your young players to score, then you need veterans who can step in and hit the open shot but play great defense and teach IQ to the young players. I love DeMar. I do so much. He's a great player. But if DeMar does leave, Kobe can step up and score. Io can step up and score. You can draft a player who can score 10 to 15 points a night. But what it's hard to find is a player with the IQ to know who to guard, when to guard, and when to switch. And also know, hey, this play isn't working. Let me make an adjustment. That's what's hard to find in this NBA. A player who knows his role and plays it to 100%. So Javante Green could be the missing piece to help this team take another step forward. Not the step, but another step forward. And I can't wait to see more games from him and see what he's doing. See how he's playing and see what he can do for this team, especially when he gets fully healthy. I can't wait to see the dunks. I can't wait to see the blocks, the defensive switching with Alex Caruso. And I can't wait to see the Javante Green, Alex Caruso, Julian Phillips, Patrick Williams, and when he's fully healthy, maybe even Lonzo Ball lineups that shut teams down. But with that, let me know how you guys feel. Put in the comment section, how did you feel about seeing Javante Green play in the Bulls uniform again? Were you excited? Were you not so excited? Put it down in the comment section. And what do you see happening with this team? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Y'all have a good night. See red. Peace.